Welcome back y'all. A little update on the sawmill shed. We're finally finished. Only thing I got left to do is a little trim up there on the edge. You can see it hanging down up there. I'm going to wait till it cools the sun goes down. And probably get up first thing in the morning and do it while it's cool. Because it cuts easier than when it's hot and sticky and tacky. So uh, that's the only thing we got left. We got the electrical in. The roofing done and everything burnt and all finished up. I'll give you a little tour of it. Excuse the camera shake. All right. Gonna do a little trim up here. Just a little trim on the edge of that. Electricals in, and we got this on remote too. So if I leave that on all the time, the remote kicks in. So that's what it looks like underneath there. There's the lights we hung. Remember LED lights. Twenty-three thousand six hundred fifty lumina, and they are adjustable and they are bright, and they can you can tilt them to whatever way you want. So we'll test them out tonight. This is the trim we got to do on this end. This is the overhang part that's left over. Other than that, we're all done getting ready to put the mill in. As soon as I get the mill in, I'll uh, give you guys a video of uh, the mill sitting in its resting place. All right, we thank and appreciate you all watching, and I'll get right back with you when we get the mill in here. Thank you all. All right, everyone, we're back. The mill has finally got a home of its own. The mill says, finally, home sweet home. Got plenty of room. Nice and shady for right now. Now I've just got to get it set up. I just pulled it in here to show y'all what it looked like sitting inside the sawmill shed. Not bad. What it looks like from back here. Like I said, we're all done except for a little trim on the end. And I got to put some gravel down at the far end. Down here, we're going to put gravel. We've got a little drop off. And this is where I pull out when I bring the mill back in. So I got a little drop off. I'm going to put some gravel around in here. Get this all graveled. All right, we'd like to thank everybody for uh, watching the videos and subscribing and watching us do this little journey of building this sawmill shed. It's finally in its resting place, and now we can get back to milling some logs. It just took a little while for one person building it, so all done now. Now we can get back to milling logs, which y'all like. We thank and appreciate you all subscribing, watching the videos. Hope you hit that like button, and we'll get some logs up there pretty soon. Start milling some logs for y'all. We got a bunch of black walnut, a bunch of cherry, and some pecan, and a bunch of poplar and pine and red oak. So we got plenty of logs. We got like 300 logs probably at least. I got to get milled up. So we'll get right back at it and get some videos. We thank and appreciate you all watching, and we'll catch you the next time.